everybody, it's Devin here, and this video is specifically for you do-it-yourselfers uh, that want to do, uh, you know, a lot of your own work. Um, we're under the vehicle today, as you can tell. There's a very important thing if you're changing out a transmission in a vehicle that I need you to know. I'm sure a lot of you already know this, but there are those that don't, and this is very, very helpful information, and I hope any transmission shops that do transmissions do this. Uh, I hope that all of them do. Unfortunately, I'm sure there's some that don't. But I hope that all of them do. Either way, I am going to show you uh, what it is. So I've taken the transmission out of this vehicle here, as you can tell. And, you know, you'll have this view here of what you see. So once you take the transmission out, now is a really good time for you to check different things on your engine, you know, check your flywheel here. Make sure you don't have any little cracks on it anywhere. Check for leaks. Uh, same thing on your heads up there. You want to check for oil leaks coming down to see if you can uh, see where the leaks are coming from. Um, anytime you're in a vehicle like this, this is a good time to just look over things and see if you visibly see anything that could become an issue at some point. Uh, so... Uh, the most important thing, though, when, it does, when you're doing a transmission, whether you're putting in a used transmission or you're putting in a new transmission. So you see these right here? These are your cooling lines. They go up to kind of, they go into your radiator and they come out of your radiator and go through a cooler that's in front, just behind the grill of your vehicle. And it air and sort of radiator cools it to help it last. Well, a lot of the transmissions, especially GM transmissions, have an issue with cooling. And that's what causes them to uh, go out as often as they do. And specifically, we're working on like a 99 to 07 truck today. And this is the uh, transmission they call the 4L60E. Very common transmission. It's been around for a long time. They, they just quit making it. Um, what was it? Shoot, in 2008. But it went on for a long time. Anyways. So, one of the biggest things is cooling. So, uh, this is your cooling lines right here. Now, in here, well, it goes in and then uh, comes out and it does, you know, a constant circle. So, when you have a bad transmission and you have bad, black, nasty fluid with a bunch of shavings in it and stuff like that, all of that gets into this cooler line, which in turn gets up there into the cooler. So, when you put your new transmission in, you pop this in, you don't clean these out then all you're doing is loading up your new transmission, or your used one, with the garbage from the old one, which is going to shorten its life quite a bit. So, what you want to make sure you do is get you an air machine, borrow one from a friend, whatever you have to do, and a little air check here. The little rubber grommet on mine flew off a long time ago, but it's fine. And then you're going to want to take a, like a little, a little quart can like this. Just an old quart can from, you know, whatever you used it on. And then you'll just want to stick it over one line like that. And then you'll want to stick the air chuck in the other line. And you just want to push it and just blow it. And you'll hear all the stuff come out. And then when you start hearing nothing but air come out, you know it's clear. And then usually what you'll get out of it is usually about a quarter to no more than like a third of a quart of fluid uh, out of it into it. And if you want to clean it out further, you could go to your local parts store, to your local... A supermarket and you can buy some cans of brake cleaner. You can spray uh, half a bottle in here and then continue spraying it out until it comes out clean. Either way, make sure you blow this out so that your transmission will last you. It's very, very, very important. And then as always, make sure you have the right amount of fluid in it. Remember, you always want to check your transmission fluid with the vehicle and operating temperature in park always and that's how you're going to get your most accurate reading um, other than that make sure your transmission mount when you put it back on a little rubber isn't broken or anything like that make sure the seal that your drive shaft goes in isn't leaking and it's replaced and then you should be good to go on down the road but i just wanted to give you all that bit, bit of very important information and hopefully you can use this at some point in your life if you choose to do something like this so uh, Y'all have a good day, and I appreciate all your support.